only about to start. Drama. 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 I got myself ready. I'm here for the drama. I really am. I had a rough week. I'm here for the drama. <laughs> Do it in private. I, oh my god. I can't watch this. Do it in private. Giselle's a real instigator. Like, I can't. I really can't. Giselle, Giselle gets like five points for that because she shut Candace down because. Chill. God, this is so stupid. <laughs> oh lord. Oh my god. Oh dear lord. Yeah, listen. <laughs> oh, I don't know what's happening. I feel bad for Ashley, but I'll give give you my wrap up. Oh my god. Guys. <laughs> oh my god. Hello. I am here for all the drama next week. Oh my god. Oh my god. So anyways, I just finished. <laughs> Episode 7, I believe. 6 or 7. I think it's 7 of The Real Housewives of Potomac. Child, I don't know where to start with this one. Listen here, okay? <laughs> Alright. I was happy that Candace and Giselle did not expose the issue that Ashley was having with Michael at the table with all the women. I was happy they did that in private because I would have been really upset if they just did that to that girl, okay? Now, I don't know where to start. I really don't. I did not like Monique in this episode. Y'all know I like Monique, but in this episode, she was just doing the most. Like, I feel like, <laughs> listen, I don't know where to start. I got nothing. This is a continuation of last week's episode where they were at her lake house and the men were coming in this episode. So I think this was day number three. So anyways, um, Candy, Candy, Candace and Giselle sat down with Ashley in private and they were trying to explain to her what the situation was. Candace gave her her phone, Ashley read it. I agree with Candace. She didn't look surprised. It looked like this is something that she's used to doing or she's used to experience. Like, I want to feel sorry for her, but then I don't because if that's the life that you're living, I really shouldn't feel sorry for you. You know what I mean? I think people are, like, empathetic, no, psh, sympathetic to her because she has a young baby. She's a first-time mom, you know? But other than that, I don't know. I don't know how I feel about her knowing that this is what he does or maybe they have that in the relationship. Like, I don't know, child. I'm, I'm trying to stay out of people's business. <laughs> but Monique was so irritated because she planned the bonfire and um, Ashley, Giselle, and Candace were inside talking. But I did not like her behavior. Like, I get it. You have an issue with Candace. So speak to Candace. Don't just brush it to the side. Like you have an issue, just head, you know, cut off the head. Just talk to her and deal with it. So she was being a bit passive aggressive, in my opinion. So I didn't like to see that. And I already seen the setup for the fight. Like I clearly saw it. Because anything that Candace did in this episode, Monique was irritated by. And to me, it wasn't warranted because you can't control every aspect of your life. Like, you really can't. Things happen unexpectedly every single day. <laughs> oh, my gosh. I don't even know. I like the little bonding like they did after the bonfire. So, it was more of like, you know, it was Candace, Monique, Wendy, and Karen. And Karen got super drunk and she started pouring her heart out. <laughs> I really feel sorry for her because to know that she gave her husband money to help with his tax issues, she's holding some resentment towards him. I really think that's what's happening. And now she's trying to get him to like show affection and show love, but he's not interested. He's really not interested. Like this episode, like he's not interested. I don't, I feel sorry for Karen. I feel sorry for Karen. I really do. Like Karen... I feel sorry for her. I can't. I really do. 
Um, I don't know. I just, it, it was much needed drama. <laughs> it really was. Um, Giselle, I thought Giselle was going to be messy, but she really wasn't. She, she handled it like a big sister towards Candace, which I can appreciate because that would have been really embarrassing if she just outed that at the table with everyone. And then she left. I think she had to do a book. Um, she went to an event. For her book so i really care about giselle right now <laughs> this episode to be honest with you i did not like monique one bit not at all the first two episodes where they were at her lake house sure but right now she's just being she's being extra so whatever is going on in her marriage she is making it trickle over to her friendship with these ladies because even though candace and sharice are friends maybe she did it on purpose whatever you need to be careful who you tell your business, child. <laughs> because it seems like Candace may have known about Monique's extracurricular activities. I don't know. That's how it's coming across to me. So I feel as though, like, she's really upset that Sharice is around. And then now she's going to be talking about Ashley's husband. But it's like, she's not talking about your husband. So why does it matter? Because I'm not going to lie. If I was Ashley, I would want my friend to tell me that's all i'm saying so monique the way when she was acting i was not here for it like i really like i really feel like she needs to get her ass beat <laughs> and now y'all know i was all for candace getting a good beat down because she's just a bratty but like in this episode i would not have been mad if somebody just went snap on monique and i get it it's her house but at the same time what gives you the right to control every aspect of the the day like, they had to have a conversation. It's not about you, so who cares? She was, she was really... I didn't like that. I really didn't. And then, I'm trying to think. I like the fact that the men came. Um, It was a good little vibe. It was good. Not all of them came. Juan was missing. And I think um, Giselle and uh, Jamal were missing. Um, but... It was good to see them bonding. Wendy's husband seems pretty cool. He's funny. But it was good to see them bonding like that. Now, I think that Monique and her husband have a lot of cracks in their relationship. He has the money. She has none. <laughs> he wants. He has expectations. When he married her, she wants to do other things now. I don't know. I feel like maybe there is some truth to her cheating on him with her trainer. Because why else would you be acting like this towards Candace? I get it. Candace probably be betrayed you. But my thing is, right, hear me out. As a grown woman, I don't even care if we're on a show. But if you don't really mess around with Candace and you don't like her for whatever reason, whatever she did to you, Whatever rumor she spread, whatever. Why are you inviting her to your house? Why are you trying to be all diplomatic, knowing that every little thing this girl does, she's going to set you off? That's the part I don't understand. And then clearly we see next week, I'm here for it, there's going to there, there's gonna be a fight. <laughs> I don't know, man. I don't know. This This episode was drama. Drama, drama, drama. Drama. I'm just trying to think. I think um, there was a moment where Ashley's husband, Michael's an asshole. Oh, my God. And you know what, though? I feel like it's because he has the money in the relationship. Because if he didn't and they made the same amount of money, he wouldn't be treating her this way. She called him just to talk. And he's like, oh, I'm eating my lunch and reviewing a document. So you can't say hi? rude <laughs> it's so rude but I do feel sorry for her in a sense because I don't know if she realizes that she's worth more or she should be expecting more or experiencing more rather than just accepting whatever he gives and say yeah this is what we do or whatever so it's like maybe they have a swingers type relationship I don't know but I do know based on the trailer, her mom is not happy about this. Her mom wants her to shut it down. I, I want her to shut it down. Like, this is, it's too much. It's too much. 
Especially now you have evidence. People are taking pictures. Like, in what world does he think that no one's going to recognize him? Where? Like, it's the... I can't. Like, he probably didn't pay that girl enough money, child, for her not to take that picture because I don't understand. That... I didn't like that scene. I felt sorry for her. I really did. I don't know. I think that's it. This is going to be short and sweet because it was filled with a whole lot of drama. But I did not like Monique. And I'm probably not going to like her next week. Because whatever pent-up frustration she has, and she's not addressing it. Like, I hate adults that can't communicate. Because if you're not going to communicate, don't even have me around you. That's just how I feel. So next week, but then in the in the trailer, right? Candace was flipping Monique's hair, so maybe that was a trigger. Listen, I don't know, child, but if you hit me first, I'm gonna smack you back. <laughs> oh my god! No, but you know what? I think that's it. It's gonna be short and sweet. I am here for the drama today. Like I said, I had a long week, so this is why. I'll right. see you back here next Sunday for the fight episode, okay? Because I'm, I'm gonna be here for it. I'm not gonna lie. It might be sad, but I'm still here for it. <laughs> Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you back here next week. Later days.